Hi there, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Harry, and Harry wants to know a little more about resizing. All right, Harry, that's actually a very commonly asked question. Uh, resizing is, is a bit confusing for folks because there's a couple things that are going on that you need to keep track of. So let me explain some of the basics, and hopefully we can get you helped out. So here I've got a photo open in Photoshop Elements, and I'm using version 12, but uh, the concepts that I'm going to show off today uh, really don't matter what version you have. So any version of Photoshop Elements, just sort of follow along these same techniques. So as you can see, this is a square image. Uh, you had talked about potentially making an 11 by 17 image uh, out of a non-standard size. So we'll go ahead and do that. But first we want to talk a little bit about the image resize image size menu choice. So go ahead and with your image open, select the image menu, go down to resize, and then select image size. And that'll open up a dialog box. It's got a lot of information about our photo. Uh, tells us what the pixel dimensions are, height and width. This, pix this uh, image happens to be 400 by 356 pixels. And then depending upon the resolution of the image, this image is 72 pixels per inch, it simply does the math, how many pixels, and figures out what the height and width. And you can see um, this image is about five and a half inches by about five inches. So if we wanted to resize this to an 11 by 17, maybe 17 wide, we can just come in the document size and type in 17. And you can see the height is automatically changed to 15 for us. Since this is mostly a square image, if the constrained proportions box is checked, uh, it's going to automatically fill in the height or the width, depending upon which one we're changing, to make sure that the aspect ratio stays the same. So to make sure your photo doesn't get distorted. If I try to change the height to 11, you can see the width is automatically changed to 12. So I can pick one or the other. I'm going to go ahead and pick 17. Oops, 17. And I'm going to uncheck this constrained proportions, and I'm going to type in 11. So now it will actually let me type in any number I want. And if I go ahead and click OK, you can see, oh, let me double click on the hand to get it to fit. It's resized my image to 17 wide by 11 tall, but it's also distorted the image. It simply stretched it wider and squished it in height. And that's actually not what I want to do to this image because I don't want to distort this picture uh, of my daughter. So I'm going to do undo, get back to the original aspect ratio image, come back into image, resize, image size. And I'm going to leave constrained proportions checked. And I'm going to just type in, I want it 17 inches wide. And I'll let it figure out what the height should be and then click OK. Double click on the hand again, scales it down to fit. So now I've got an image. If I click on, click and hold this little menu here, I can see I've now got 17 inches wide by 15 inches tall at 72 pixels per inch. So now what I would use is my crop tool over here on the left, the crop tool. Select my crop tool. And this pull down here, I can pick from a number of different preset sizes. 11 by 17 is not in the list, so I'm going to leave it. Uh, no restriction, and then just start typing in. So I want it 17 wide, which it actually already is, and I want it 11 tall. So type in 17 by 11, and now come out over my image and just drag out a crop rectangle, and you can see the aspect ratio of that crop rectangle is 11 by 17. And if I just put that in the top and go ahead and drag that out, to fit both edges, because remember we had earlier set our image to be 17 inches wide. So I just go make my crop rectangle about the same width of my image. And I have to decide, do I want the bottom of the image left, or do I want the top of the image? In this case, I want the top. I don't have to go to the very top, although in this image I do. But go ahead and position my crop rectangle anywhere I want, maybe even a little wider towards the edges. And once I'm happy with it, hit that green check mark. So now I've got an image that's 17 inches wide, 11 inches tall, but it started off as basically a five and a half by five image, some wacky, wacky size. 
So hopefully that helps out, uh, gives you a basic understanding of how to resize an image to any size that you want. You can either do it inside the image resize, image size dialog box, or you could just come straight to your crop tool, set a custom size, and go ahead and crop to that custom size. Hopefully that helps you out, and uh, have fun using Photoshop Elements.